okay welcome back to the second part of this tutorial I'm going to start by taking care of the calculator interface so I need text area right there let's reduce that no I actually need something else can test field yeah I need a test field then I need a couple of buttons right there that one paste it there and I'll just copy this very button across but before that let's customize this interface first let's change the, the font let's change the font to something a little bit readable maybe 18 will be fine that's cool and for the text box let's change the content in there to zero and align let's see horizontal alignment make that right and here and we might as well just change the name change the very name of this to JTXT display right there that's taken care of and this one let's come here and let's customize it before we finish up okay let's just copy this across I need 16 of those okay I have copied this across so I will now change the interface as follows so that will be J maybe BTN 7 ok let me just copy that and the text content in there will be 7 so let's see there and this will be 8 and the name will be JBTN8 right there so let's speed that up as well and right here this is how it's looking right now I don't really need this let me get rid of that I will now move all of this down let's select it and just drag it down alright those ones are down gonna move this up that's supposed to be an arrow the font size of this you have to change that to winging so let's go to the font and let's change that to winging where is it right there there and click on ok take a good notice of it that's it right there click on ok and you see it's now an arrow okay that's taken care of we're going to rearrange this this let's come back in here maybe move this here and just move the following down move it down take this up and i'll just maybe finish up with the rearrangement and get back to you guys all right so let's just finish up with the design of this calculator so we need uh, let's go for border here add a border to the text box make that two right there now this very one is supposed to be plus or minus so let's change that let's change the font size to maybe about 17 okay yeah that's fine now and compile let's run it and see okay this is how the calculator is looking now and it does nothing right now nothing is happening okay so the next thing is maybe take care of the reset and we start the coding but before then let's just take care of this very the coding of this very calculator first so let's double click on this button but before we start writing the code we don't have to declare 
a variable right here you see right where it says public class restaurant declare the following variable there that's the variable I intend to use okay the other thing is I'm going to have to import some data up here you see where it says package right there I will import the following data you see where I see that so I'm going to need those so I've just imported the following library so now let's go back to design view double click on number seven so try again there there we go and that is the name as you can see jbtn7 so and we enter the following lines of codes right there i've actually de declared a variable that we store the value that is entered inside txt display uh, it will be stored in here because you have to convert it to a string value as you'll be able to enter a numeric value into the display and that's why I had to convert it first all right so I might as well just copy this and go to button 8 right here double click on it let's try that again right there paste that in there and just change the name to 8 that's 8 right there okay now repeat exactly the same thing to 9 and okay. let's paste it there change that to 9 and I will then speed that up and get back to you guys okay the numbers are all in place this is for 0 this is for 3 you can see it's all the same lines of code so I actually de declare a variable called enter number then whatever when I click on the button whatever is inside the the display is assigned into enter number and then which means because as enter number is a string the string is then allocated to display to JTXC display okay now let's go back to the design double click on this and declare and just enter as follows for declare JTXT display dot set text okay make that no value so and enter that in there oh that will be display okay now we need to then take care of the arrow double click on the arrow and enter let's try that again double click on that and enter as follows all right so if I those are the lines of code for the backspace All right so if I compile let's compile and run it So then let's compile again okay this is how it looks like so if I enter whatever value I think I need to I should delete this zero first okay if I enter whatever value in there I can always use the backspace All right so let's continue with that right now these arithmetic functions they don't do nothing so I need to take care of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's go back in here. Come to the design view and this. Let's get rid of that. Come into the property. Get rid of that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. We now double click on the plus sign. Double click on that. 
and enter the following okay let's start by taking care of this uh, division so come in here and just enter as follows that's for division copy that and for multiplication enter the following lines of code i'm just going to change the sign here let's change that to multiplication sign and will be the same thing for subtraction change that to subtraction addition paste that there and change this to addition there okay now let's take care of this I think this should be the last one I've taken care of here yeah. this might not be right but I need to look into it again but that's for the for the decimal place so let's do this now So for the plus minus we enter as follows there. Okay, so let's just compile and see how the calculator works before we continue with the rest. Now run the program. There we go. So if I enter maybe 99, press that, that's what you get. Clear that. Let's check out the multiplication. Okay, the the equal sign is not working yet, so let's take care of the equal sign. So let's come back in here. Double click on the equals. So with the equal sign, we're gonna enter the following lines of code. Let's move this up right there. Okay, look at it. So I already declare answer as a string variable. So whatever is stored, whatever is entered in the text box is then stored into the variable second number. And if the operation selected is plus, so first number plus second number is then stored inside result, which is then converted into the string then assigned into answer and allocated into txt display and that is exactly the same thing that i've repeated for the rest of the operators right there okay and that is it guys all right so hopefully that'll be the end of the calculator let's compile and run it right so that's working as expected good so with that i'm gonna call that the end of this second part so i'll see you guys on the third part where we will complete the rest of the interface and take care of the coding as well bye for now